Hey guys, it's Justin Conical from theclosers.ca here with your monthly market update for April 2015. So there were 769 homes that sold last month. Now, if we were going to compare this March to last March, it wouldn't really be fair because the weather last year held on strong. I mean, we had winter till almost April or May. Um, you know, but if you look at the five-year trend, month, year after year, on average, March would be at about 726 homes sold. So, you know, 769 is well above that for real estate purposes and, you know, indicates that the market is heating up. Boots on the ground wise, we are seeing a lot more multiple offers. We're seeing properties that are priced right, selling really, really quickly. So again, a strong indicator that buyers are out there looking for properties and maybe missed out on some over the winter time and looking to really capture that right property over the springtime or summertime market. So if you're thinking of listing now, it's definitely a good time to get serious. Um, another thing that we wanted to bring up, and we usually like to bring up at least one legal fact or something that's gonna affect the real estate industry to give some value to the agents that are out there. And obviously, the rest of our listeners that subscribe to our show um, is as of July 1st, 2015, there is going to be a big change to dealing with phantom offers. Bill 55 is going to be amended and we've been waiting for this for a long time so that brokerages have to keep a copy of all offers that come in on a property. Why is this important? Well, there are situations where we go in with buyers and submit an offer on a property and then magically all of a sudden we get a call an hour or two later that there's another offer on the property. Agents are not supposed to say that there's another offer on a property unless they actually have a written offer in hand and they're supposed to keep a copy of it, but there was no law forcing them to keep an actual physical copy somewhere. Now, as of July 1st, if another if any offers come in, five, six, seven offers, whatever it may be, physical copies of those offers are gonna have to be kept by that brokerage. So if they get challenged, they'll be able to pull those offers and indicate that there were multiple offers on the property. We personally think this is great for our industry and great for the purchasers and sellers because we're not gonna be involved in situations where there's phantom offers when there really aren't any phantom offers. There'll be a lot more transparency as to who the agents are, who are in play, the buyers that are out there and the offers that are actual offers. So, you know, just another in the feather in the cap for the real estate industry and things getting a little bit more transparent. We're all for that and we actually think that this is gonna be great for everybody. Just a quick note, um, for those of you that don't know, Shannon and I did open our own boutique firm last week. So Grogan Conical Real Estate Brokerage is now based out of 361 Talbot Court, right in the heart of downtown. You know, we're looking to be a client first, sales focused boutique firm that really takes service to the next level. We really want to refine our systems, you know, be transparent with everything that we do and really showcase how we are different in the real estate industry and, you know, really really use our talents to the maximum ability that we have. So if you guys have any questions about that, you know, feel free to give us a shout anytime. As always, leave questions, comments, anything else. If you got some value from this, you know, please give us some feedback. Take care. Hey, how you doing? My name is Mark Pulisic and you're wondering how to become a businessman. The answer is simple. I read a lot, read a lot, learn a lot. I mean, Warren Buffett said it himself. He said, it's good to learn from your mistakes. It's better to learn from other people's mistakes. There's no better way to learn from other people's mistakes than to read, than to seek out mentors and to seek out people who are successful in what it is that you're doing and learn from their mistakes, learn from what they did wrong so you don't have to do the same thing. That's exactly what I do every day of my life. I read different books. I'm reading a book by Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart, and he has a thick, thick book, a huge life story of him sharing all his mistakes, all his successes, all his ways of thinking, all his beliefs, all his ideas, and all that stuff is constantly being poured into my head. So it can't do anything but good for me, for my, me and my dreams of becoming a truly, truly successful, highly successful entrepreneur. So it's a beautiful thing that we can, it's a beautiful time period we live in that you have, your, you just found me on YouTube most likely. You can search Warren Buffett, um, Bill Gates, Elon Musk, some of these great businessmen, you can search and listen to them speak and share and take in their ideas. That's the best way to become a businessman, a truly successful businessman, learning from the best of the best in anything that is that you do. So I'm also in the home-based business industry. I have my own business that I work from home. I'm doing this in my living room and I, my, my office is in my room over there with my computer. All I need is a laptop and a computer. Even if you don't live anywhere, you can go to a library and build a business here. That's an amazing thing, an amazing time period that we live in today. So you definitely have the opportunity to become a truly successful businessman.
today I'm gonna, I'm gonna be here to help you out, show you some great people to learn from, some of the best of the best. And we have, what I partnered, because I love learning from the best of the best, I've managed to surround myself with the best of the best in the home-based industry. So what I have right below this video is a link that I'm gonna take you to. Just click it right below, hbl.nxt-school.com. It's gonna take you to a free report I created for you that shows you seven essential ideas of building a home-based business from anywhere in the world. And you're also gonna be able to watch a video that my partners, those same top-notch industry leaders, are sharing exactly why our business is why we believe it's the best of the best, how our business works, and what we do to to spread our business, basically. And hopefully, it's something that you're interested in. And hopefully, you're 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 ready to get to get that journey of truly becoming a successful businessman. Either way, I thank you, and hopefully, this video is of value to you. Thank you once again for taking time to watch this video, and hopefully, I can talk to you soon. Take it easy. Traditionally, the church looks at business people as sinners in the marketplace like tax collectors in Jesus' time. So they, they should be coming to church to support the business and the, the ministry. The role of business people is only financial support. I think which is not a, it's, it's not a right way of looking at business people. We need to empower business people as marketplace ministers. And once you do them, you know, the, I, I believe in the biblical verse, whatever you do, do it all for the glory of the Lord. That includes 